Tonight I ordered a targeted military strike using a deadly nerve agent. Assad choked out the lives of helpless men, women, and children. It was a slow and brutal death for so many. Outrage and now a swift response tonight from President Trump. This is new video just in from the Pentagon showing the U.S. firing 60 cruise missiles at a Syrian airfield where the Assad regime launched that chemical attack on its own people, taking more than 100 innocent lives. And tonight we are monitoring the fast-moving developments here and reaction from the world and the men and women you elected. Denver 7's Jackie Cray is in the studio tonight. President Trump spoke for three to four minutes from his estate in Mar-a-Lago, Florida, making it clear the U.S. will not stand for attacks on innocent men, women, and children. Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from the Mediterranean Sea around 640 our time, headed to the Al-Sharat airfield in Syria. That's the base where U.S. military says Syria launched its chemical weapons attack from. Now, this U.S. military targeted strike, President Trump says, is in response to the Azad regime's violation of the Chemical Weapons Convention. On Tuesday, a horrific chemical weapon attack on a Syrian town killed at least 100 civilians. This is the first time the White House has ordered military action against the Assad regime itself. Up until this point, U.S. involvement in Syria has been limited to fighting ISIS. It is in this vital national security interest of the United States to prevent and deter the spread and use of deadly chemical weapons. Tonight I call on all civilized nations to join us in seeking to end the slaughter and bloodshed in Syria, and also to end terrorism of all kinds and all types. While some members of Congress criticized President Trump for not seeking congressional approval tonight, Republican Senator Cory Gardner says Quote, the administration is well justified taking this long overdue action tonight against a designated state sponsor of terrorism. And just before we went on air, Colorado's Democratic Senator Michael Bennett just tweeted this statement saying the Assad regime must be held accountable for the chemical attack. But moving forward, he says any military action must be conducted after consulting with Congress. Congress recesses tomorrow for two weeks, and as Trump approaches his 100-day mark, we will have to wait and see if this is a limited tactical strike or part of a bigger shift in strategy. I'm live in the studio, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Jackie, thank you. And a 